What's up, everybody? Welcome to day 24 of the All About How podcast here from growingau.com. As always, I am your host, John Not ready to bring you another value-packed episode today. This is day 24 of our 365-day podcasting experiment, where we post a podcast every single day for the year to answer the question, does more content equal more followers? But it's been going well so far. Yesterday was an awesome, awesome day. Highest viewed podcast so far. Really appreciate it, guys. Thank you for all the support. Thank you for everyone that was part of that yesterday. Really appreciate you. Awesome episode for you today. Really excited to to bring it forward, talk about uh, some interesting things when it comes to freelancing. That's what we're talking about today. Going to be talking about it from an outside perspective in a sense. I actually, believe it or not, had the new logo created for Growing AU. Um, I commissioned that to be done on, what is today, Tuesday. So I commissioned that to be done on Monday and it was completed today, and it completely blew my mind. So I'm going to talk to you about that experience and what I've learned about freelancing from this, from a buying perspective that we can then apply to selling perspective. So we're going to be talking about that today. Really going to be an awesome, awesome video. So let's just go ahead. Let's roll that intro as we always do, and then let's get into it. It's all about how- So honestly, it really would be an understatement for me to say that I don't or I was not completely blown away by the design and the logo that was created for us. Um, It was incredible. I went through Fiverr.com. A lot of people know about Fiverr and know what they're all about over there. And the logo that I had created was by a a designer called Express Design underscore. I'm assuming it's a small team of people um, just because of their turnaround wait rate is 24 hours. So I imagine that's a very, it's a small group of people doing this. And what they did was the, the total price, including my tip was 7147. And I'm just kind of doing this for complete autonomy. So you realize what, like what exactly it is we're dealing with. And what they provided for me was three logo concepts, business card concepts, um, letterheads, and I'm just trying to see if what, what else we got here. And of course, all the source files so I can go through and adjust things as necessary. And I'm going to tell you what, each of the logos that they created was incredible. Now, I did give a little bit of a, a little bit of designing guidelines, so to speak. You know, I said I want the colors to be red and black. That's kind of been our theme. I want uh, possibly to use the AU as like a large background, or even if you know the uh, basically what I would call the cover of this podcast, that triangle with the line through the top kind of looks like an A. Um, I wanted to use that design as well. And I sent them a picture of the, the podcast's thumbnail so that they can kind of get an idea. And that's actually the logo that we ended up going with was the one with the line through it. And if you want over on the Instagram page at growing AU, that's G R O W I N G A U on Instagram. Also on Facebook, there is a Facebook page and on YouTube as well. You can go ahead and check out our new logo over on those platforms. It's fantastic. But yeah, so providing me with three logos, business cards and letterheads, and they all look really, really nice. Um, I look forward to diving into some of those later on and really finding a way to really tweak them into something that I think will work well with with the company. So definitely, definitely very much blown away. There was some a little bit of miscommunication between the seller and myself as far as what I believe to be one of the uh, essentially services that I paid for was to have the logos automatically fit social media platforms. That's kind of a company standard in freelancing that the the logos that you will create are automatically going to fit onto Instagram, Facebook, YouTube um, platforms. These did not. In fact, they weren't even close. Um, I actually had to go and open Photoshop and format them myself to allow them to actually work for any of my social media platforms. And you may be thinking to yourself, well, that's not that big of a deal. Just do the work. It's not a big deal until you pay $71 for something and it's not done uh, completely correctly. And unfortunately, it was not something that I realized um, until the order was complete. That's on me. Um, but I did reach out to the seller and was like, hey, what, what's going on here? And uh, they were they were very kind in their um, explanation. I just think that uh, could be a bit, little bit better wor- wording because the social media package is not exactly what was provided here. So it's what it is. I was luckily able to format it and take care of it myself. But there was that slight little issue. Other than that, everything worked out really, really well. And I'm blown away by the results of what it is they provided. Uh, Would I recommend this seller? 
I would say yes if you have some Photoshop experience because the files you are going to receive are going to need to be formatted correctly to be used on social media. If you don't, I wouldn't recommend the seller. Um, but as long as that's the case, I do recommend the result of what they design. It's it's really rather stunning, honestly. I'm very, very happy. So that was that. So what is what is this whole thing taught me about freelancing? Well, I've gone through now four different freelancers in my time. Um, one for a very, very, very old project I used to work on called Handbook to Success. That's something a buddy of mine did. Uh, John, what's up, dude? Uh, we did when we were, I think, like 15, 16 years old. Um, we did Handbook to Success. I had someone create a logo for that. I had someone create a logo for Trail 62, which is another account that I have. I had a logo for something called Hidden History, which is still in the works. And then obviously this logo was created uh, for me today. And what I have learned about the freelancing experience. So I, I opened, I, I woke up this morning, kind of went through my morning routine, opened up the files to see what was delivered. And I was instantly, instantly blown away. I knew for like right at the start that I was going to be happy with these. And I feel like what this seller did was even though I gave guidelines regarding color, I gave, you know, the, some of the shapes I would like to have included. Despite all of that, I feel like what this seller did that was awesome was he or the team was able to anticipate what it is I wanted without being explicitly told or without me even knowing that I want that. Um, like one thing here is I, I said, I want it red and black. Well, he did a, like a red and black gradient that went through the, like, all of the logos, which I find to be really, really cool. Um, and I think that it was really like an awesome thing to do. And I didn't even know I necessarily wanted that, but he did it and it worked out great. Um, and just, there's a lot of stuff in here that I think he, was able to design well with the anticipation that knowing what it is I want without even me necessarily having that idea in the first place, which I think is important to anticipate what it is your buyer wants before they even necessarily know it themselves. Another thing that he did was, you know, all of them were incredible. I don't look at any of these and say, okay, that was the one that, uh, you know, was skimped out on because it was three design concepts. I, you know, I definitely think the one that I chose was the one that he felt was the best because that's the one that he placed on like letterheads and the, the business cards, but they all look like they put a lot of time into them, which is great because that's happened to me before. I, I, re I remember the first logo I ever paid to have done. There was seven to 10 concepts. I will never do that again. I will never request a gig to be completed. That's more than three simply because at some point they're just going to be plugging and playing in what I would consider to be templates. And I don't need seven different concepts. I need three to even one good concept. And that's actually what I did for Trail 62 and Hidden History. Um, it was just one concept. Um, the only reason I didn't go back with that seller was because I needed something with color and they did more of the retro minimalist logos. That's not what I wanted for AU. So I, I had to find a new seller. But they did a really, really good job um, because it, you could just tell that there was effort, value, and just an ultimately uh, intense amount of care placed into every one of these. So it's nice as a buyer to see that your, your project was valued. And I think that's something that Express Designs underscored it really, really well. So I appreciate that. Um, I think that's something where as freelancers, that if you can show your customer that I put time, effort, planning, and, and just overall brain power into your project, I put care and passion into that, it's going to come across and it's going to be appreciated. I love these. Um, Honestly, like they're just really, really cool. I could not be happier with them. So uh, I, I look forward to be able to use this logo now for some stuff we have coming up here in the future, which is going to be awesome. But that's what I think is the big takeaway. I, you know, I, I haven't had a lot of experience in the freelancing industry, a little bit here and there. Um, not a whole lot to, uh, I, I would say, give a lot of firsthand tips on it, but I can tell you a lot from the buying perspective and being able to anticipate what it is that you're buyer wants your customer wants before even giving them that initial design is really important and it doesn't matter what you're doing it can be logos it can be writing a paper it can be sound design if you can anticipate what they're really trying to say from the beginning that's going to be highly highly important um and the other thing that I, i've really noticed and, and come to appreciate throughout this entire experience is just the overall ease of it, right? Because like the one thing that they, they apply in here is that you can have unlimited revisions. That's kind of a company standard. Um, but if you can do it well enough the first time that there aren't any revisions necessary, that's a testament to the work that you did. And I think it's also a testament to your commitment to the buyer to produce them a good product. I think if, if now it's possible, you're going to have cranky people who, or, or not necessarily cranky is not the right word. I think sometimes that's the case, but it could also be like, you're going to have people who 
they want it a very specific way. They already kind of know what they want, and they're going to keep kind of coming back to tweak it until it met, meets that point. I think if that's the kind of person you are, if, if you have this this very detailed idea of this is how I want to um, approach this uh, logo, for example, then I think that that's appropriate. You're paying the money. You should have it done the way you want it to do it. But I think if you can, if, if the buyer is giving you a lot of freedom on the creation process of whatever it might be, if you can really make it so that they don't have to revamp it, the better off it's going to look. I've never had to revamp any of my logos. Um, the first one I should have, but being 15, I just didn't know any better. Um, but the last couple I've done being 18 and more, you know, more mature in this area and understanding, uh, just some being better communicating, honestly, I tell you what, it's, it's nice to not have to say, all right, we need to redo this. So, but Hey, look, I'm really happy with express design. Definitely go check out our, one of our social media pages, be it Instagram, Facebook, or YouTube to go and see the new logo. I think you're going to really, really like it, but Hey, I appreciate everyone listening today. Talking about freelance. we got a lot of awesome stuff coming up for you in the future here on the growing AU platforms. Excited to bring it to you. A lot more value coming your way very soon. Thank you, everybody who listened yesterday. Made it our highest listening day ever. I appreciate all of you. And in fact, before I even let you go here, before I give you your fact of the day, let me go over here and just see uh, what the actual numbers were on that particular day just to see how well that we did. All right, here we are. Yeah, so yesterday, uh, highest listening day ever. 31 people listened to yesterday's podcast. And that was awesome. So thank you, everybody who made that possible. I appreciate every single one of you. And of course, we need a quick fact of the day. This one, the force is strong with this fact today, folks. Let me tell you, if you have ever noticed that Miss Piggy and Yoda, if you've ever thought, well, there's something there's a little something similar there. Now, personally, I, I would not think Yoda and Miss Piggy have anything in common. But in fact, they do. Miss Piggy, obviously being from the Muppets and Yoda from Star Wars, they were both voiced by the same puppeteer, the wonderful man named Frank Oz. So next time you're watching the Muppets and you see Miss Piggy move something with her mind, you know where it's coming from there. Yoda, the force is strong with Miss Piggy for sure. Appreciate everyone listening today, guys. This has been John Knott from GrowingAU.com. You're listening to day 24 of the All About How podcast. And we're going to catch you all here tomorrow on day 25. See you then.